welcome to Two for Tuesday, where I take one ingredient and use it for two reasons. My name is Sarah Manaresi, and welcome to my kitchen. Valentine's Day is coming up, and really, you don't need any excuse to have dessert, but it's coming, and we always want to have a little something sweet and special for it. And um, I have two great recipes that use vanilla. Um, very popular in baking, of course, brings out some really great uh, flavors, especially the first recipe I'm going to talk about has chocolate. So it really brings out that really nice richness to the dish. So I have on the stove right now that I am whisking together. Um, it is a cup and a half of whole milk. Actually, here's this tip right off the bat. So I don't usually drink whole milk and neither does my family. Um, so I used about a cup of 2% and um, a cup of heavy whipping cream because that's what I had in my fridge. You can try to lighten this uh, recipe up a little bit more, but it's a very, um, it's a pudding. It's a chocolate pudding. I didn't even tell you that's what we're making. We're making a chocolate pudding. Um, um, there is some chemical components. Baking and cooking is a science that you just really can't mess with. And I talked to the bakers at King Arthur Flour. Um, they're experts and it's free to talk to them. And we tried to lighten the recipe up as much as possible, um, but she really felt that the fat for this recipe was really necessary um, for the pudding to have to set up correctly. So this kind of makes it whole milk, but since we don't usually drink whole milk, I kind of just use what I had in my fridge. Um, I put a cup of half of that in there and then I um, put a half a cup of sugar in it and a third of a cup of cocoa powder. Now I know that sounds like a lot of sugar, can you lighten it up? No, because it is a chemical component, we talked about it, it's not going to really work. Can you use a different kind of sugar? You can try, can't guarantee the outcome again of it. Again, chemical reactions here folks. Um, you can try to use something else on your own, I just can't guarantee it'll set up correctly because I haven't tried it myself. I would think that if you wanted to do a swap, maybe coconut sugar would be probably your best option because it has the equal sweetness of um, regular white sugar. Um, so if you want to try that, knock yourself out. Um, I have three egg yolks right here. We're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla. Just like so. Yes, this is a giant bottle of vanilla. My friend gave it to me. She bakes a whole lot. She has her own um, company that she makes biscotti. Her biscotti is fabulous. Um, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of uh, salt. If you wanna use fine salt, you can. Um, whoops, let's see. And we'll just put that there. I'll clean it up later. Um, if you want extra fine salt, if that's what a recipe calls for, all you have to do is put it in the food processor and I'll get you there. I don't think it's really going to make that much of a difference and I'm lazy. Um, then we're going to put in three teaspoons of cornstarch. Now this is our thickening agent, so it's not going to use gelatin or anything like that to help us out. Three. I'm listening for my mixture there. You want to bring that to a simmer over medium high heat. You just don't want to make it make sure it doesn't uh, come to a full boil. So this recipe is really easy to do. I'm going to take the rest of the half a cup of liquid of the milk and I'm going to add this to it and we're just going to whisk it all together until it comes combined. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this step instead of the final steps is because we're going to temper this egg mixture. And what that means is we're going to pour a hot liquid into raw egg. And the worst thing that can happen is that you get scrambled eggs and that's gross. No one wants scrambled eggs in their pudding. So I just want to show you that technique really quickly um, just so that you're not, you know, a lot of people aren't familiar with tempering just because it's not generally like people make pudding. I mean, I grew up, we bought it already made in the cups or we made it from a box because that's how my family rose. So we're just going to whisk this all together and this has come to a simmer. So I'm going to turn off my heat, going to give it one last quick whisk together just to make sure all the cocoa powder and sugar is combined. Yeah, that whisk is kind of sad. So all you have to do is put a little bit in at a time. So like that much and that way. 
and whisk it so it cools down very quickly and that way you're not going to get scrambled eggs. Now once I am done doing this whole process, it takes a few minutes um, just because I want to make sure that it comes out nice and smooth. We're going to put it back on the stove top. We're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to bring it back down to a simmer, stirring um, constantly for a few minutes. It takes about 10 minutes till it really thickens up and then you're going to pour them into these cute little cups. Any cup will do and it's up to you how many servings you have. So this makes about six servings is the way that I have it. So that's about a tablespoon and a and a teaspoon of sugar per person. Really, that's not that bad when it comes as far as desserts go. Um, and then after an hour putting them in the refrigerator, I'm gonna put on um, plastic wrap so that your chocolate doesn't get that weird film on the top. You know what I'm talking about, it's gross. No one likes that, so that'll help prevent that. My other recipe is completely different. It involves peanut butter. Everyone loves peanut butter. Take a cup and a half of creamy peanut butter and a half a cup of honey um, some vanilla, some, and some baking soda, and two eggs, and you're at room temperature, and you're going to combine it all, and you put it in the oven, and you bake it, and it's delicious. I will have both of these recipes up. I won't bore you with keep doing this in front of you. Um, both of these recipes up on my website, sarahmanaresi.com, or you can find me on YouTube, or on Instagram or on Facebook. So I hope you're having a fabulous evening and I hope this becomes a fabulous way for you to make a healthy-ish dessert for you and your family for Valentine's Day or anytime because who doesn't like chocolate pudding? So hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you later.